Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another tutorial and I'm doing it of the look that Rihanna wore to the AMAs this year. Um, so that is why I have my hair done like this. I was trying to do it um, similar to how she had. Um, and I also put in these um, little, whatever you call them, earring things like up the side of the ear. She had like a load of them going up one ear. And then in the other hair she had this um, like a pearl earring with kind of a spike coming down. But I don't have anything with a spike so I just have this pearl in and then she had a diamante kind of choker necklace again I just took something um similar that kind of fitted the style of the image and then she had all these kind of big um silver jewelry rings and bracelets and stuff and then for her top she had this like funky black um bralette kind of top and the closest thing I had to that um is this um sleeveless top with this black design on the top of it so that's just what I'm wearing um, under the screen. <laughs> so that is why I'm wearing all this jewellery and I have my hair like this. And if you haven't seen um, any pictures of her or the makeup that she wore, I'll have um, the inspiration image on my blog, which will be linked um, down below. And on that blog post, I'll also have a list of the products I use and extra pictures of the finished look and stuff. So with all that said, let's get into the tutorial. So I'm going to start with my base today um, because I'm not going to be using any products that could fall down from the eyes. Um, so I'm starting with my Makeup Forever HD Primer and I'm applying that all over the face. And for my foundation I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear in NC30. And this brush by the way is a Tapered Kabuki F86 from Sigma. For my concealer then I'm also using the Pro Longwear in NC30 and for that I'm using the Zoeva um, Concealer Buffer number 142. Doing that under the eyes, a little bit around the nose, a little bit under my brow just because I was plucking them a while ago so they're a bit red. Oops. And over any blemishes. And I'm going to set all that with Rimmel's Clear Complexion Pressed Powder. This is just a transparent one. I'm just going to continue with the face before I go on to the eyes. So the blush that I'm using is Sleek's Blush in Suede, one of my favourites that I use a lot. Um, and the way she had her blush was kind of low on the apples and then up to the cheekbone. So it was at quite um, a diagonal uh, line or slant. So it was really just swooping up like that, in that direction. So it just adds this like warm peachiness to the cheeks. For the eyes I'm going to start out with a base and I'm using Max um, Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Which is this light um, yellow toned creamy colour. And this is basically knocking out any extra pigmentation in my lids to give me um, a, like a clean canvas to work on. This is also acting as my colour for the lid because um, whatever she had on her lid was just a slight, um, a slight little bit lighter than the rest of her eye. It just gave a little bit of light to the lid, um, which this has done already for me. So I'm going to move on to the crease and she, again she didn't have much in her crease but I'm just going to add a little bit of shading. So I'm taking a touch of taupe from the Lorac Pro Palette, which is just a light brown colour. And this is a Zoeva 228 crease brush. And just running that right into the fold of the eye and then once I have the colour deposited I'm just sweeping it in windshield wiper motions and also moving the brush upwards to fade it out and the same on the other eye and again I don't think I'm going to add anything um, to the brow bone because either she didn't have anything on it or it was just something that was just a slight bit lighter than what was in the crease so it just was a small bit lighter under the brow um, again the soft ochre paint pot has kind of done that for me so I just needed to add a little bit of shading just in the crease so it wasn't just one flat colour from the lid to the brow bone um, it just adds a little bit more dimension 
So on to I guess the main part of the look which is the liner and I'm going to be using a gel liner and this one is from Fraulein 38 which is like an affordable um, online brand, kind of like Coastal Scents are one of them. And I use this a lot of my videos, initially I started using it just because um, I wasn't too much of a fan of it and if I was going to do a look just for the sake of a tutorial I'm not going to be actually wearing it all day then I'd just reach for this and I'd be able to use it up but as I've used it it started to dry out a little bit because my initial issue with it was that it was a little bit too um, emollient I guess it was just it wasn't it didn't set very well it, it kind of would smudge a little bit throughout the day and it's still not as good I don't think as the Maybelline one that I um, use a lot but that one for me has kind of dried out pretty much so I need to like resurrect that one um, but this one has kind of dried out in the process which has made it better so it sets a little bit better and it's just a little bit more solid to work with I just wanted to explain that just because I was aware that I use it a lot of my videos and hadn't explained my um, kind of feelings on it so if you are interested in these um, liners they come in a whole range of different colours and they are very affordable but um, they're not the best I would say but they are very affordable and once they dry out a little bit they're a little bit better so onto the liner. Um, the brush I'm going to be using is one of my favourite liner brushes and this is the Louise Young LY24A and it's this really thin um, liner brush and what I love about this is it keeps its shape because I hate liner brushes that do not keep their shape and they splay out and there's no point to them, you can't use them. So I absolutely love this one. So the liner that Rihanna was wearing was very um, feline like she often does. Um, it had a slight little um, inner corner to it and then a wing on the outer corner so that's what we're going to do so I like to start by just getting right close to the lash roots and getting a thin line down first and then I can build it up where I need it so you can always add more but it's difficult to take away So just a thin line like that and then I'm going to add the little point in the inner corner so I'm just carrying the line down and then across into the lower water line so when you're doing um, any kind of inner inner point or corner just making the smallest little triangle um, gives a good effect a big effect so you don't need to do um, a prominent like point or triangle to get that good feline effect so I like to just carry it down to the point that it's level with the lower waterline and then just go straight across and pull it into that lower waterline. So I just join it up there a little bit and then I can start to thicken this line. Now for your wing you can make it as kind of elevated as you like. Um, if you've seen me do liner before you know that um, I have kind of a tricky crease. My crease line carries right down to the outer corner so it kind of gets in the way of where my wing would be. And I do have a video which I will link below on how to get that elevated wing if you do have a crease that gets in the way if you just want that look. But for this look I'm just going to um, keep my wing below or as much as I can below um, the crease line. Which is just another method rather than cutting through the crease and trying to even it all up and fix it. So that's why it's going to be a small bit more um, straight out rather than um, elevated wing. And I do that by just looking forward into a mirror with my eyes relaxed. And then making a point outside here where I can see that that is below the, um, the line of the crease. And I come from the bottom and I join it up to that point. And then I just hold this here. And run it back in and I keep checking that I haven't gone above that um, crease line and colour it in. So once I have my wing in then I'm going to carry the liner onto my lower wash line. So now that I have the liner done on this side I'm just going to catch up with this side and I'll be right back. So now that I have my liner done I can move on to the lower lash line and she seemed to have like um, a dark bluish grey um, colour on the lower lash line. So I'm going to use um, Slate oops, slate from the Lorac uh, Pro palette and this is um, a shimmery colour. I don't think what she had was necessarily shimmery, it might have been, um, but this has a very very fine shimmer in it so once it's kind of buffed in you can't really tell. It doesn't really matter, it was just a dark grey colour. It's just me being picky. 
So I'm going to take this teeny tiny brush, um, I think this is from Crown, and pick up some of that slate. And then just run that on the lower lash line right close to the lash roots. So you can see the difference there between the two eyes. It just adds a little bit more drama to the eye. So before I do lashes, I'm going to do the brows. And her brows were filled in quite um, with a quite light colour, I suppose. Um, definitely in comparison to her hair because she has the, the, like, the really black hair now. But her brows were like this light kind of ashy colour. So I'm going to use Ash Bland from um, Anastasia. This is the Brow Wiz. And just fill in my brows. see the effect of um, using a light colour there it definitely fills in the gaps but it doesn't make them any darker or any more dramatic it just makes them a little bit more solid and gets rid of the little gaps you can see between the hairs I'm kind of having trouble with this brow at the moment so just the way the hairs are growing so excuse the shape of it it's just being troublesome so then I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara and I'm using Benefit's The Real Mascara And then I'm going to be using um, false lashes and these ones don't have a brand name on them. I'll show you the box there. They're the Elegant Lashes number RDW in black. So I'm just going to apply these and then I'll be right back. Okay so now I have those lashes on and I chose those ones because I wanted something that would accentuate um, the outer corner and kind of uplift the eye. It just helps give that um, winged or cat like effect to the eye. Those are the lashes there and I'll just zoom out and we can do the lips and then we're done. So she just had a nude lip on and I'm going to line with um, this nude liner from Natural Collection. And the colour is Almond. And even though it's not going to show up quite so much because it's just in a nude colour, I'm going to try it and um, accentuate the cupid's bow to that sharp point that Rihanna has in her lips. Um, and also just slightly overdraw, not even overdraw, just get to the very um, outer edge of um, the lips just to make them a little bit fuller. Again, to make them a little bit more like Rihanna's. So I've made like a sharp V in the centre and then make these um, top points as sharp as I can. So coming um, sharply down I suppose rather than doing any kind of rounded shape. And I've just feathered um, that over the lips. For my lip colour I'm going to be using OCC's Lip Tar in Memento which is actually a lot pinker than I wanted so I'm going to go over that with something else. So I'm going to go over that with a touch of um, Myth from MAC. And this is really accentuating my dry lips. And then Max Flora Abundance. And then Max Lip Glass in Flora Abundance. You're going to have to excuse my desperately chapped lips. I didn't realise how bad they were until I put all that matte stuff on. So that is the finished look. I really hope you liked the look and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Um, if you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up um, down below. Also leave any comments that you have, comments, questions or requests. And um, subscribe if you haven't by clicking the red button that's down below as well. And again, the inspiration picture, the products I use and pictures of the finished look will be in my blog post which will be um, linked down below as well. So thanks so much for watching again and I will see you in a later video. Bye.